Today we're going to try and achieve the perfect complexion using Chanel Cosmetics. I have prepped Abby's beautiful skin, I have used a lovely moisture mask, uh, cleaned off the moisture mask, and then followed with the beauty serum. Really important to keep your skin hydrated all through the day, so don't forget your serum. On top of that, a lightweight moisturizer with a sun protection. So the next thing I need to do is take care of the color of Abby's skin, even the tones out. I'm gonna start out with the revolutionary product we call La Blanc de Chanel. It's a liquid and it illuminates the skin from underneath. Almost the way Coco used to always wanna wear white around her face, it does something to illuminate and lighten the skin. So I'm gonna start with that first. It comes in a great pump bottle, as you see here, easy to use. I pump it into the palm of my hand. You can use it any way you're comfortable. And I love to use a foundation brush to put it on. So just look at me, darling. A little goes a long way. Start out in the center of the face and sheer it on. This is where you're the most discolored is the center of your face. So this is where I start. You can use your fingertips if you're comfortable, but for me, this is the easiest and best way to apply Le Bon to Chanel. So the next step for me today for Abby is the new Perfection Lumiere Velvet Foundation. It's a liquid foundation. It has an SPF 15. It's very sheer, but buildable. You also get a beautiful velvet matte finish. It lasts all day long. To apply the Perfection Lumiere Velvet, you can either use a foundation brush, a sponge, or your fingertips. I love my fingertips. I put the product into the palm of my hand, and I personally start out in the center of the face with a little bit of product, and using my finger instead of a brush, I somehow get a better skin-to-skin -skin contact and blend. But a foundation brush is perfectly good to use as well. The next step to a perfect complexion is to conceal. Conceal under the eyes and wherever you're discolored. I'm gonna use a little bit of this perfecting concealer. I put it on the palm of my hand where I still have a little foundation left and then I reach for a great concealing brush. I mix the two together. This way, the texture between your foundation and your concealer is a similar density. Just look up from heavy. After you've concealed under your eyes and your eyelids if needs be, if you have any spots or scars, come in with either the same concealing brush or a little eyeliner brush something that you've never used on eyeliner that you've kept clean and really pinpoint any discoloration. For Abby, she doesn't have a whole lot, but there's a teeny tiny little spot here. So I'm gonna come in and double up. If you have an excessive amount of darkness around the eyes, this particular product is buildable. So feel free to come in once, twice, as often as you need to get that perfectly concealed. The next step to a perfect complexion is to really work with the highs and lows in the skin. So this means contouring and highlighting. It also means a bit of sun, the touch or the look of sun. I like to do that step with a product from Chanel called Soleil Tan de Chanel. This particular product is a cream base and it turns into a powder. On the skin, it melts in. It's absolutely beautiful. You can use your fingertips, but I quite like using a blush brush. I take the product out, I brush off any heavy excess on the back of my hand, and then I start to shape. Here, in a contour. Here, around the hairline. And sometimes, depending on your face shape, you may even want to come in underneath the jaw, and also on the sides of the nose. This will sculpt and tailor the bone structure. Another really great thing to do with this product is to give the look of sun. Sun usually touches you up here on the highs of the forehead, across the nose, and over the chin. So I like to take a little bit of what's left on the back of my hand and just simply touch across here and here. The next step is to finish the work that you've done. You can do this with either a compact product, something that is really easy to use on the go, or in the morning when you're setting your makeup, use something a little bit more substantial. I'm gonna lean into one of the new products, which I absolutely adore, and it is called Vita Lumiere Loose Powder Foundation. It comes in a great little container. You turn it over, you give it a little pop. 
open up the container and the product is revealed in the little ravine in the center of the packaging. It comes with a great brush, it's a kabuki brush. Tap off any of your excess and you work from the center of the face outwards. And this not only sets the makeup, but it gives even more perfection to the finish of the skin. My next step is going to bring a little bit more color into Abby's complexion. The idea of blushing the face is really important. The color should not be concentrated all over the cheek, just simply in the highest point or what we call the apple of the cheek. There's a few products you can use for that. I like to actually double up. So I'm gonna use the cream product from Chanel, which is the cream blush. I like to use my finger for this. Take a little bit of the product, not too much. Just turn to me, Abby. Smile for me, darling. Find the highest point of the cheek and very softly blend. This can also be done before the powder stage if you really want it to look very natural. Once this is done and blended in, I personally like to follow up with a little bit of a powder blush. I like to follow up with the Jus Contrast in any shade, but for me, for Abby, I like to use something with a little bit of sheen to it, a little bit of a highlight, so give me another little smile. Right on top of what I've done, I highlight that area of Abby's cheek. This not only makes the blush sealed or stay on through the day, keeps it looking fresh, and also gives you that little highlight. For the blush, it's just on the apple of the cheek instead of on the entire cheek area. So we're almost finished. Now that we've contoured, brought a little color into Abby's cheeks, we really need to put some highlighting and final perfecting. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to come back and give an overall perfecting to the skin. And what I'm gonna use for that is a product that I absolutely love, and it's called Le Beige. This is Le Beige in a compact. It's a powder, it comes with a great little brush. I think you can do about four different things with this. Overall color, you could contour if you didn't want to use a cream with this. You can blush. You can also use this as an eyeshadow. So, sky's the limit. For me, what I'm going to do is give a little bit more shape and a contour with the brush that comes in the compact, like so. And then I'm gonna reach for the Kabuki brush, which is an amazing little tool. This is the full-size Kabuki. And run around the compact like so come in and just give an overall addition to the shape and perfection of the skin. Now the final little touches. Depending on the light you're going to be in, daylight, work, which is a lot of fluorescent lighting, also evening, candlelight, I lean back again on my Blanc de Chanel. Really, most skin tones definitely need this for a final highlighting step. I use my fingertips. What I do, just turn to me, Abby, is on the highest point of the cheek, I dab a little bit more of the product. You can use a foundation brush for this step as well, but I think the fingertip gives you a really good version. So on the highest spot, depending on your nose shape, down the center of the nose, don't forget the Cupid's bow, because this really enhances the shape, and also the center of the chin. So this is the final look on Abby, a perfect Chanel complexion. The final look should be fresh and sheer. Your skin tone should match the rest of your body. The finish and the textures should show highs and lows. And overall, still see your own skin underneath. Abby has beautiful freckles and I wanted to make sure that we kept those freckles there. I hope these tips were helpful today. Don't forget, everybody's skin and complexion is entirely different. Your final look is generally gonna be directly related to how you take care of your skin. So don't forget the great skincare and just have fun with all the new products and we'll see you next time.